How are you doing this, Martin from Gardens for Life? Can you tell me what vegetable this is? These are Jerusalem artichokes. They're a tuber sunflower and you can dig them up any time of the winter or just leave them there in a permanent location. So in this video I'm going to harvest five varieties of Jerusalem artichoke. They're all good. My, the main difference between them is actually the shape and the colour. The best way you can support the channel is actually to give us a quick thumbs up, if you don't mind. We'd highly appreciate it. One of the first jobs is to actually just cut back the stalks. Uh, we'll just use the secretaries for that. So we're just going to clear those first and then we're going to start digging the tubers. You know, it seems like we only planted these Jerusalem artichokes yesterday. It was about five months ago, I think. It was a good growing season. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some tubers now. But the first one is going to be Chinese. That's the name of it. Uh, that's a continuation from the planting video. If you haven't seen how we planted Jerusalem artichokes about six months ago, take a look at the other uh, video. I put a link in the description below. The next one will be red fuzao and the regular fuzao, the white one. And we'll have the white truffles, is another nice variety. It uh, also kind of uh, clumps, uh, just like the red fuzao. And Aurora Rubin, which is a really nice variety. It grows huge. It's like the Jerusalem artichoke that can't be tamed. Um, it, it grows the tallest, it has the flowers the earliest and in the most abundance. And it also has the biggest harvest as well. It doesn't really grow in a cluster, it kind of travels maybe a meter or two. So be careful where you plant it. The yields are similar between the five different varieties. Um, we have tried other ones too. Some of them are just not very practical because the tubers are kind of long and thin and they break in the post. So we don't want to sell those on the website. Um, for example, Hermann is the variety I'm talking about there. But the other ones are all available on our web shop if you're interested in starting to grow Jerusalem artichokes. I will do the first few regularly and we'll uh, switch to time-lapse then. Oh my word, you couldn't, you can't, you can't even pull that up. Well, without a doubt, this is gonna be the biggest Jerusalem artichoke plant I've ever harvested. I think I need to move you back a bit more. There isn't even enough room. Well, this one here has definitely been doing very well because it was planted just at the edge and it's the south side of the bed of course so you get more sun the more sun the more tubers nope that can't be pulled up in one go I think I'm gonna need to get a shovel all right the ground is solid tubers here This is off one plant. It's a good few in it. Look at that. That's an awful amount of tubers. 
for one plant. Now, of course, that was a big plant, but what we planted here was maybe some, somewhere around that size. And um, yeah, let's, let's take up the rest of them. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, that was only about four plants or so and you can see the crate is already full. Um, probably maybe 10 kilos or 12 kilos in it already. One crate will do me grand for now. Uh, I'm gonna dig up another variety or two just to see how they did. Don't forget you have to cure your Jerusalem artichokes um, before eating them because otherwise there is an awful amount of inulin in them which makes you fart and it is it is it might sound funny but um it can be a problem for some people so the best thing you can do with these is actually put them on a sunday windowsill or on the table in the greenhouse for a week or two and the inulin in the tubers uh, will turn into starch which is much easier to digest we'll go with the uh, red fuzao next let's give it a try again what am i doing trying to pull up the whole thing in one go but let's give it a try anyway Oh, look at that. Amazing. Oh my god. That that is a good harvest already and we've only that's only one plant. One very, very large plant that seems to have Okay, well that's a new one over here already. That's another plant. That's, this is still part of the same plant. One really interesting um, observation is, take a look at this. That's actually the ground underneath, that where the grass, we just smothered the grass with plastic, took the plastic away and then put the compost on. You can see how the compost layer is right here, which is probably about 10 inches or 25 centimeters or so. And you can see the tubers didn't bother growing down into the, the actual native soil below, which is actually a surprise to me, but eventually the soil life will actually incorporate the compost. Amazing, what a productive plant. I've only dug up one square meter and still already a full crate, as you can see, of Jerusalem artichokes. And this is red fuzel. It's pretty nice. It grows around typically, a bit like this one. They're a really nice tuber. We got them about six years ago and we've been growing them ever since. Absolutely prolific. I just figured out that 
the camera wasn't recording when I took up the first plant but anyway so you can see that's what the tubers look like they do get quite big and um, they do spread too though you see how that can be the original plant can be just here and then they kind of spread out uh, maybe up to half a meter to a meter from the base of the plant let me dig up, dig up another one real quick just to make sure I get it on video Wow, I think that's two plants in one, maybe even three, there's one. Amazing, what a harvest. Well, pretty good harvest. Um, I'm gonna dig up one or two more just to fill the crate, although I think what I have here will already do it. And um, just want to let you know, these were actually planted here only two and a half years ago. So that's like three growing seasons ago and I haven't needed, I didn't need to actually replant them at all. I was just harvesting for the last two winters basically. Um, pretty awesome, it is one of our um, perennial areas. Uh, it's the Woodchip Island, so if you'd like to have a look at the Woodchip Island in more detail, uh, please feel free to take a look at the videos. I'll put some links below. Jesus, it's nearly getting dark out here. Next up, Fuzao, uh, the white one. Already another great harvest, I'd say it's very similar to the other four varieties. Um, definitely clusters, it stays in one place, it doesn't go traveling off too far. One more. White truffle is next. It's getting a little dark now, but we'll um, take up these white truffles now. Let's see, here's the label.
These grounded solid tubers here. It's kind of hard to take them up. I think I'm going to have to get a shovel. These tubers are so densely packed together that they're really hard to actually grab and pull up. Let me get a shovel. Alright, I got a headlight because it's getting a bit too dark to film. Look at the size of that tuber. That's all one tuber. Probably a kilo in it. I'd say I'm about um, two foot or half a meter into the bed and there is another five meters to go and I think the crate is already going to be full with just three plants. Thanks so much for watching the video, really appreciate it and hopefully you got something out of it. Uh, please give us a thumbs up if you don't mind because it helps to get the video out there even more. And if you're looking for tubers to start growing these yourself, please take a look at our website. Uh, we have a, a lot of different varieties of different types of tubers like Jerusalem artichokes, uh, Mashua, Oka, Apios, uh, Chinese artichokes and a number of other ones. Thanks a million, thanks for your support, bye bye.